MicroStrategy, the business intelligence firm, has just announced its third consecutive quarterly loss, a development that has sent ripples through the financial community. This comes as no surprise to market watchers who have been closely monitoring the company's financial maneuvers. The company's aggressive investment in Bitcoin has been a roller coaster ride, with dramatic highs and lows that have kept investors on edge. With the recent dip in cryptocurrency markets, MicroStrategy is feeling the heat. The company remains optimistic, however, about the future. They believe in the long-term potential of Bitcoin, seeing it as a transformative asset that could redefine financial landscapes. However, this latest loss raises questions about their strategy. Is it too risky? Only time will tell if their bold approach will pay off. The company's core business remains strong, continuing to provide robust business intelligence solutions to a diverse clientele. They continue to generate revenue from their software products, which have been well received in the market. Yet, the losses incurred from their Bitcoin holdings are overshadowing their operational performance, creating a complex financial picture. This is making investors nervous, as they weigh the potential rewards against the evident risks. Some analysts believe that MicroStrategy should focus on its core business, which has been its bread and butter for years. They argue that the Bitcoin gamble is a distraction from the company's primary objectives and strengths. Others applaud the company's bold vision, seeing it as a forward-thinking move that could yield significant returns. They see it as a bet on the future of finance, where digital currencies could play a central role. MicroStrategy's CEO, Michael Saylor, is a known Bitcoin evangelist, passionately advocating for the cryptocurrency. He has repeatedly defended his company's strategy, emphasizing the long-term benefits of their Bitcoin investments. Saylor believes that Bitcoin is digital gold, a revolutionary asset that will appreciate over time. He sees it as a hedge against inflation and a store of value, protecting against the devaluation of traditional currencies. However, the recent market volatility has put his convictions to the test, challenging the resilience of their strategy. The question remains, will his bet pay off in the long run? The stakes are high and the outcome is uncertain. The coming months will be crucial for MicroStrategy as they navigate these turbulent financial waters. They need to convince investors that their Bitcoin strategy is sound and that it will ultimately benefit the company. They also need to show that their core business is still on track, continuing to deliver value and growth. The pressure is on for Saylor and his team to deliver, balancing innovation with stability. The future of the company may depend on it, as they strive to prove that their bold strategy can lead to long-term success. The biggest hit to MicroStrategy's balance sheet comes in the form of an impairment charge. This accounting term might sound complicated, but it's actually quite simple. Imagine you bought a car for $30,000. A year later, it's only worth $20,000. You've just experienced a $10,000 impairment. MicroStrategy's situation is similar. They purchased billions of dollars worth of Bitcoin. As the price of Bitcoin dropped, so did the value of their holdings. This difference in value is the impairment charge. It's a paper loss, meaning they haven't actually lost real dollars yet. But it reflects the decreased market value of their Bitcoin assets. This latest impairment charge is a stark reminder of Bitcoin's volatility. It's a stark contrast to traditional assets like stocks or bonds. These assets can fluctuate in value too. But Bitcoin swings are often much more dramatic. This makes it a risky investment, especially in large quantities. Despite the impairment charge, MicroStrategy remains committed to its Bitcoin strategy. They argue that short-term price fluctuations are irrelevant. They believe in the long-term potential of Bitcoin as a store of value. Whether their bet will pay off remains to be seen. While reporting a third consecutive loss, MicroStrategy dropped a bombshell. They announced plans to raise a staggering $42 billion. The purpose? To buy more Bitcoin. This bold move shocked many analysts. Some see it as reckless, even irresponsible. Others view it as a power move, a sign of unwavering conviction. This decision underscores MicroStrategy's belief in Bitcoin's future. They see the current market dip as a buying opportunity. They're essentially doubling down on their bet. It's a high-stakes gamble that could yield massive returns, or it could backfire spectacularly. The proposed $42 billion investment is enormous. To put it in perspective, it's more than the GDP of many countries. It dwarfs MicroStrategy's current market capitalization. This indicates the scale of their ambition. 
They're not just dipping their toes into Bitcoin, they're diving headfirst into the deep end. This move has certainly grabbed Wall Street's attention. It remains to be seen how they will raise such a colossal sum. Will investors be willing to back this risky venture, or will they shy away from the volatility? One thing is certain, MicroStrategy is all in on Bitcoin. The market's reaction to MicroStrategy's announcement was swift and decisive, sending ripples through the financial community. The company's shares tumbled by 4% following the news, a clear indication of investor sentiment. This drop reflects investor concern about the company's strategy, as many are wary of the potential risks involved. Many are uncomfortable with the level of risk involved, fearing that such a bold move could backfire. Some investors are questioning the wisdom of betting so heavily on a single asset class, especially one as volatile as Bitcoin, which has seen dramatic price swings in recent years. They argue that MicroStrategy is neglecting its core business, potentially jeopardizing its stability. They worry that the company is becoming too exposed to the unpredictable swings of the cryptocurrency market, which can be highly erratic. Others, however, see this as a buying opportunity, believing that the potential rewards outweigh the risks. They believe in MicroStrategy's long-term vision, and are confident in the company's strategic direction. They see the current dip in share price as a chance to get in on the ground floor of a potential financial revolution, one that could redefine the future of finance. They argue that MicroStrategy is strategically positioning itself to capitalize on the future of finance, embracing innovation and forward thinking. The market's reaction highlights the uncertainty surrounding Bitcoin, a digital currency that has both fervent supporters and vocal critics. It's a new asset class with a limited track record. Its future is uncertain, and opinions on its viability vary widely. While some see it as the future of money, others view it as a speculative bubble, prone to bursts and crashes. MicroStrategy's gamble has put a spotlight on this debate, intensifying discussions about the role of cryptocurrencies in modern finance. Only time will tell whether MicroStrategy's bold bet will pay off, and whether their faith in Bitcoin will be rewarded. In the meantime, their stock price will likely continue to fluctuate alongside Bitcoin's value, reflecting the ongoing volatility. Investors will be watching closely to see how this high-stakes gamble plays out, eager to see if MicroStrategy's bold move will set a new precedent in the financial world. On the surface, a software company investing billions in Bitcoin seems unusual. But dig deeper, and MicroStrategy's motivations become clearer. They see Bitcoin as more than just a digital currency. They view it as a revolutionary technology with the potential to disrupt traditional finance. MicroStrategy's CEO, Michael Saylor, is a vocal Bitcoin advocate. He believes that Bitcoin is a superior store of value compared to traditional assets like gold. He argues that it's scarcer, more portable, and less susceptible to government manipulation. Saylor also sees Bitcoin as a hedge against inflation. With central banks around the world printing money at unprecedented rates, he believes that fiat currencies like the US dollar are losing value. Bitcoin, with its fixed supply, offers a potential solution. Furthermore, MicroStrategy views Bitcoin as a long-term investment. They're not looking to make a quick profit by timing the market. They're building a significant position in what they believe will be a key asset class of the future. Essentially, MicroStrategy is betting on a paradigm shift in finance. They believe that Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies represent the future of money. Whether their gamble pays off remains to be seen, but their conviction is unshakable. While MicroStrategy's Bitcoin strategy is bold and potentially lucrative, it's not without significant risks. The company has made headlines with its aggressive approach, but this comes with a set of challenges that cannot be ignored. The volatile nature of Bitcoin is a major concern. Unlike traditional assets, Bitcoin's price can be highly unpredictable, making it a risky investment. Its price can swing dramatically in short periods, as evidenced by recent market fluctuations. These rapid changes can catch investors off guard and lead to significant financial losses. This volatility can erode value quickly, as seen with MicroStrategy's impairment charges. When the value of Bitcoin drops, companies heavily invested in it can face substantial financial setbacks. Another risk is the regulatory uncertainty surrounding Bitcoin. Governments and regulatory bodies are still figuring out how to handle cryptocurrencies, which adds another layer of risk. Governments around the world are still grappling with how to regulate cryptocurrencies. 
This lack of clear regulation can lead to sudden changes in the legal landscape, affecting Bitcoin's value and usability. New laws and regulations could negatively impact Bitcoin